Hi Laura, I'm not feeling good today. Well that doesn't surprise me because you look like you're on your period. Well as a matter of fact I am on my period. Also I think I have the flu. Why are you always coming into my office with this crap? I already know that you are hungover again and you have been up all night banging your husband doggy style. First of all how did you know that? When you walked in here you smelled like beer and you were limping like you just got fucked in the ass all night. And I'm on my period too so can I please go home tonight? Fuck no, I need you here at work Susan. I don't care if you got banged until 6 a.m. by your husband while he railed lines of blow off your ass. I need you here at work. Please. My ass hurts and I'm leaking blood out of my vagina. If you keep me here any longer I'm going to bleed all over the carpet and pass out in my own blood. I don't care what kind of issues you've got, Susan. I wouldn't have hired you if I knew you were such an alcoholic wannabe bisexual slut. What do you mean? You think I'm bisexual? It's no fucking secret, Susan. Everyone knows you are. Why do you think that? Because it's quite obvious that every time you come into my office you're always staring at my tits. And whenever you sit next to Sarah from accounting, you're always hitting on her and getting turned on. I always see you staring at her and using your vibrator right after lunch. Thoughts not true. Then why were you on security cam last night before shift ended moving around in your chair with your hand between your legs and your skirt pulled up until you finally became motionless after five minutes of moving around? You looked like you really had a good orgasm last night, only to go home and get fucked by your husband until 6 a.m., drunk, with a rapoon tang. I can't believe this, you've got me on security cam. These allegations are false. I merely had a scratch in my underwear and by the time I got it out I just was so tired that I couldn't move. Well how do you explain the naked pictures of Sarah from the bathroom on your computer? You don't think I know you went in there to spy on her and filmed her with your new cell phone? The fact of the matter is is that you can't go home Susan. I don't care what how many times you've got to beat yourself off in the bathroom today. But I've got to have you at work and I'm not going to let you go so I am sorry bitch. I can't believe you just called me a bitch. Well if you keep arguing with me I am going to bend you over and spank you on this desk like the bisexual lesbian that you want to be. Now get back into your office and get to fucking work. I'm sorry, I can't believe this. Please don't tell Sarah that I am bisexual. But I am seriously really in a lot of pain Laura. My ass right now is covered in blood and it feels like a wet swamp in my panties. I'm sure it does but that is no excuse for you to constantly come into my office with a bunch of lies and excuses only to keep coming into my office with more lies and excuses. If you were going to bang your husband like a wannabe slut until 6 a.m., then you were going to have to pay the motherfucking consequences. I'm really sorry about this, please don't fire me. The only reason I don't fire you is because I can't afford to train someone else to do your job even though you suck really badly at it. We are $300,000 in debt and most of that is your fault. And to make matters worse the CEO really likes it when you suck his cock. So we are pretty much fucked until you can get your act together. But unfortunately I think that is never going to happen until we finally go bankrupt because of your stupid bitch ass. I already know you lied on your resume and basically you are a retarded hooker who blows everyone in management. Well I may be a dumb blonde slut but at least I'm getting laid more than you. Please bitch, everyone knows that I am better looking than you. I just choose not to be a slutty prostitute who fucks anything that walks in his money. I am not a prostitute. I have banged all these men because I wanted to, not because they had money or were in management. It was just a mere coincidence that all these men were in management at the time of the banging. But I seriously did find them, all attractive. I'm sure your slutty ass did find them attractive but the fact of the matter is is that you are a sleazy prostitute and a pathological liar. No one fucking believes your shit and the CEO is by far the ugliest man in this company. And you are sucking his cock. I can already tell you've probably swallowed about five or six different STDs from all the random fucking guys you've banged and cocks you've sucked. 
and on top of everything you are so retarded that no one fucking wants to do business with this company anymore because of your retarded hooking us. You are really mean. If I didn't get my paycheck from this company I would stick both of my high heels up your ass. Bitch you can barely stand or move, let alone lift a foot to stick anything anywhere. Just mark my words bitch. By the time the CEO comes here this evening and you get done sucking his cock you will most likely puke all over the bathroom floor like a trashy little whore.